Weird. Peepo? Weird, my dude. Holy shit, kill me. Okay, this. Wait, what's this? An EU friendly Paul stream? has come to this corner Impossible shop to smile. demonstrate a scam that's losing unaware shopkeepers thousands of pounds a year. A scam? The been rigged with our hidden cameras to cover Hell yeah. the action. Hi, sir. Hi, good evening, sir. This is the counterfeit cash con. Let's get it for you. Shopkeepers who operate tills are constantly on the lookout for fake notes. But here's a trick that all shop owners should definitely be aware of. Paul's about Kay. to demonstrate how he Guys, 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 before, before the video even starts, dude. This guy's wearing a trench coat inconspicuously with a trash haircut with a, and he's buying a DVD in a corner store. This this entire thing is not real, dude. Paul's about to demonstrate how he could pass Jay counterfeit notes seven, if he wanted to. to Paul buys minutes. some chewing gum and they a cheap DVD. You'll see what the DVD is for in a minute. It's, 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 hey, can you break that? Uh, yes, yeah, sure. I'm sorry, sir. Paul pays the shopkeeper with a genuine £50 note. Now keep your eye on Paul's left Soon, hand. Soon, thanks for the sentiment, sir. Did you see it? No, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. He slipped some notes from his pocket under the DVD box. The shopkeeper gives Paul his change. It's two twenties and some coins. Thank you very much. I didn't see it. As he distracts the shopkeeper by dropping his change. Do you have any tens as well? Would that be okay? For you? Paul yeah. swaps the real notes that just came out of the till for his own special twenties. And because the normally cautious shopkeeper thought those notes had just come out of his own till, he swaps them for genuine tenors without question. The shopkeeper was lucky, but if Paul wanted to, he could have just walked away with £40 in profit at the shop's expense. A lot of people might be tempted to throw away a counterfeit, but because it's a crime, it's very important, I think, that they hand them into the police or hand them into their local bank or post office so that actually we can collect the evidence about the counterfeits uh, to help us understand what's going on better. What? <laughs> Uh, Valkyrian, J Jumbles, Lithos, Inic, Rasu, you can for that. Maybe another juicer. Chumans. Good to see you online. So Louis Turtle, Verdict QC. XQCL. Well, pickpocketing's been around as long as pockets. Check this guy it's out. It's one of the, uh... <laughs> 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 oh, <come> <laughs> it's all based on body language, body movement, and there's something quite balletic, it's like a dance. If you see a real expert at work, a pickpocketed. it's almost like watching magic, but um, it is theft, and um, if you've ever lost your wallet to pickpocket, you'll know that as cool as it might be, it's a pretty nasty thing to happen to you. This next oh, that's so sad. scam has been reported to be on the rise in major UK cities. Watch out for it. It's the mustard dip. Keep your eye on this guy. The what? The, <laughs> the mustard dip. Oh, excuse me, mate. Uh, you seem to have um, <laughs> stuff on the back of your head. Oh, fuck. Don't believe me. I don't want to make it worse. It might be better if you just take your jacket off. Oh, oh, don't worry. I'll just take it in there. I don't know what it is. Yeah. It's all down the back. Just it's there. all. I've got some more tissues. Sorry. Dude, what the fuck is this? Dude. <laughs> If you've got your money in your jacket pocket, for instance, out there and you haven't head. made a provision <laughs> as to put it anywhere else, and you've got two thousand pounds, for instance, in your jacket pocket, and someone sprays something on your back, you look at them, you put your hand on your wallet, and you keep walking. Hi, PVC. You don't Just stop for to them. Let you know Too many times people go and sit in a cafe, and put their bag over the back of the chair. You think you know it's there, but you can't see it and you can't feel it. That's not a very good position for anything that's valuable for you. Our next scam: the window tap. The window top. Pickpocket tech. What the fuck kind of style? <laughs> and it requires our two hustlers, Jess and Paul, to work in tandem. The target's a lone mark in a cafe, and Paul is sat just behind her. <laughs> Jess is approaching on the street outside. She stops to get the mark's attention with a question. <laughs> with the mark distracted, Paul lifts a bag and heads straight out the door. The mark returns to her phone conversation and hasn't even noticed. The obvious point to remember Hi. here is, 
always keep your bag inside. Hey, chill out, Britney scout, Spears, our holy shit. hustlers have placed themselves strategically around this cafe rigged with our concealed cameras. Let's get this Here are Jess, Paul, and Alex, all hey, apparently everybody. unconnected uh, and grouped around it. the mark. Jess starts the ball rolling with a scam we like to call. Excuse me, can you smell my bag for a minute? Crazy proud. My, my bag. You grow less than yeah, three. Sure, no he looks mad. I love you, my doggy. Excuse me. You left your bag. Oh! And holy oh, shit! I thought it was hers. I'm sorry. Yes, come on. So, in case you missed it, here's a replay. With the mark getting Jesse's bag back, Alex was able to grab the mark's laptop, hide it under his coat, and pass right by the mark undetected. Returning to his seat, the mark spots he's missing something. It seems like such an easy scam to become a victim of, but how can it be avoided? Well, the best way um, is to use the uh, clips provided in many of the cafes and pubs for, for clipping your bag into. They're often provided in these places now. The other way um, a is what's a clip? to keep it right on, on top of you so that it's in your vision all times. Okay, what the fuck is a clip? Paul, Jess, and Alex are preparing for their version of one of the most profitable scams in the UK today. The black money black. The black money what? The black paper scam is a scam that's been played on real people. What you do is you convince the mark that by using a chemical or a special device, you can remove black ink from paper revealing genuine money. Congrats Not on our money, sub baby. Right time. Three months. You need money. Thanks for making me Once laugh every day. Excuse me. Your money will be in their pockets before you know it. Our hustlers are at a car boot sale, one of the UK con artists' favorite places to look for marks. Our hidden cameras will pick up the action as they perform the black money blag. This is how to make money from the money they throw away at the English Mint. When they print it, they print too much, they send game. it to be burned, but they can't just send a van full of money, they have to cancel it first, and this is how to cancel it. They what take the fuck it and they paint it completely XQCL. black. XQCL. Just like that. They cover it with a thick layer of black paint, they wash it off, it comes off just like that, completely impossible to remove. Hold that up, have a look at that. It's a real bill, that's real money. This isn't counterfeit money, it's real money that's been cancelled and has been sent to be burned. Now, it just so happens that some friends of mine opened up the wrong van at the right time and we got a whole bunch of this stuff. Would anybody give me one pound for this? Nobody, right? Nobody's stupid enough to give me a... Give me a you look stupid Dude, enough to give me a... This is so stupid. Pound. Who's fault with this shit? One pound. One pound. If you're not happy, I'll give it back to you. I'll give it back. If you're not happy. And if you're with her, you must be very, very happy. We have a solution here. Seven the idea that okay, is dude. Like that is because it's impossible to remove the ink from these bills unless you've got the right solution. And this really is the solution. They think it's completely insoluble, but if we apply this to the paper, it will take it off. Give me any one of those that you like. This is the one you want to keep. You paid a pound for this, okay? One pound for a black piece of paper. Dude, I want to show you exactly dude, this, place, this place is like a place for con men or whatever, like, like a scam like tutorial type of shit. This guy brings his, this guy brings his Chance girlfriend there. Fuck's wrong with you. Very carefully. That's your pound. That's the black piece of paper. I'm going to keep the pound because you're going to be very, very happy. All we have to do is take the black paper and put it on here. Now, you can actually just Six fill a bath with the right Gwenny solution. Chat. Put it in overnight doing? and all of the ink will come off. But if you have a roller like this, this is an ink roller just like the ones that they use in the printers. But it's been designed to be absorbent to this material. Now, we have a little bit of the solution. Put it on here Six like months. that. Thank you smell for it, all of the like lemons. Okay? It's not just lemon juice. I do. I guarantee it. Now watch very carefully, if you print that off, it comes completely off and leaves you a little bit wet, but it leaves you with a genuine 10 pound note. That's a real 10 pound note we are holding a minute ago. Now, I'm gonna sell these 10 at a time to start with, but if you want any more, it's real simple. If you give it a rub, it'll come off already just with the ink that's on there. If you don't want to use the roller, just put the solution in the bath. Leave Why would he sell the fake money? Why would he sell it if he can do it himself and keep it? But overnight, you'll wake up to a fortune. Now I can sell 10 at a time a with time. the roller for 30 pounds. You also get a bottle of the solution. If you get more paper, you're going to need more solution. Now for 30 pounds, you get the printer. 
you get the paper. Now this is like real magic. I've got two weeks to get rid of this. How Buy in now. I've got, I've got enough for everybody here. This guy here, you've got to give me some money. 30 pounds, you make 70, look at that. You made 70 pounds, you haven't even started yet. Just like that. You're very Crazy. good. Who else? What have you got? We've got, we got, got five, five actually. Well, you want one too, don't you? You've got your hand on your money. Do the smart thing. If this was just a magic trick, <laughs> this, this is so scripted. This is so fake. 30 pounds, you make 100. And if you get more of the paper, you can just keep making money. Each time you print one, you make nine pounds profit. It is light, but don't let anybody know what's in there. That's another one. So, Paul's amazing demonstration managed to convince these guys to part with 30 pounds. But what exactly did they get for their money? Just a few bits of white paper sprayed with black paint, a cheap printer's roller, and a container of washing up liquid which smells of lemons. Yikes, By the time they've realized this, Paul will be long gone. I, so, he, he won't, dude. Did it. The guy can literally do it right there. The guy can literally do it right there. Well, when he said it looked like a magic trick, for once he wasn't lying. Because yes, it is a magic trick. Available to buy from companies who sell on the internet to professional... Okay, this is a fake, fake fucking ah, shit. Oh, lonely memes exist. Like Karen's gift of Gab, Gab, Gabe. A pause says, if you want, watch it if you want. What is this? 